now. I don't think I do. I don't know what rheumatic means. Okay, so, okay, so rheumatic fever is a, is, a, is, um, is a common problem in our country and um, it's a common health problem, especially for young people. Okay, how many of you have ever had a sore And how many of you have ever had a sore throat more than one? Um, something simple as a sore throat can in fact lead to somebody developing heart problems. And the question is how does a sore throat, which is uh, so far away from the heart, uh, cause uh, cause problems. When germs cause a sore throat, the body doesn't like it. So the germ attacks the body and this, in this situation it's going to be the back of the throat and so we know it's, uh, it's there because the body then tries to attack the germ and so there's a punching match between the, the germ and the body and what happens is that um, the body sets up a reaction to try and punch out the germ and by setting up this reaction to punch out the germ, um, yes, it punches out the germ, and it punches out the germ where the throat area is, but unfortunately, that punching mechanism in some people, and we don't know which people, um, it leads to punching out areas within our own hearts. If we are able to treat sore throats very early as they start with antibiotics, we can reduce the amount of punching that the body does and hopefully reduce the amount of punching that can occur on the heart in somebody who, you can't really tell who it is, but in somebody who may or may not be uh, predisposed. then there are risks. There are risks to causing acute heart problems in the child and uh, if that's not resolved appropriately or certain areas in the heart are hurt, there can lead to lifelong heart problems.